Hello, everybody. Welcome to the excitement, the fun that is Christmas with Cox. I am so thrilled to be hosting this delightful soiree with friends from across this great, great world of ours. And by world, I mean nation. And by nation, I mean very small space, actually. Um, <laughs> It's that time of year where we're all going to get together and relax and have fun and tell you a, a holiday story about love and friendship and about uh, finding out what's really inside of yourself at the end of the day. And so I figured who else would I bring on this fine adventure than the – hold on. I got to come up with good descriptors. <laughs> the sassy Sam Strippin. The – Eclectic Ezekiel? <laughs> great, great. The <clears throat> Princess Pocket. Like that. <laughs> oh, princess. Very good. <laughs> and <laughs> the Dodgy Dodger. <laughs> Yeah, good. Yes. Perfect. Nailing I it. felt like maybe we we did this with those, but they were all good. <laughs> you know what? I feel like that's the way this whole thing's gonna go. <laughs> Just um so today we're playing a game called Tales from the Loop. It is well at least that's the, the type of game we're playing. It is a very simple, very fun uh style game in which the normal version you would play as kids. You would all be kids and you'd be going on an adventure together. But Aww. because uh, you're not children anymore, Sam. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right. You, I've just aged everyone up, but the same rules apply. So in front of you, you all have character sheets. And we'll get to that in a minute. But the rules are very, very simple. Um, there are four main stats. There's body, which is running, jumping, climbing, all sorts of physicality. There's tech, which is machines and tinkering and the knowledge of like cool gear. There is heart, which is friendship and persuasion and even some of the darker sides of heart, which is something like lying. And then there's mind, which is being clever and thinking outside the box and problem solving and figuring out puzzles. <clears throat> I've sort of developed your four characters as archetypes of these four things. And the way it works when we play is very, 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 very simple. You roll for different scenarios or situations, and all you need to get is a six <clears throat> on a dice. So you're going to roll multiple die, and you need one six. So if I say, uh, <clears throat> this is a one six roll, you have to get a six. It can't be like a three plus three. It literally has to be a six. Um, that's why you're rolling so many. So what's going to happen is, for example... On uh, Dodger's sheet, which is in front of me, you have a body of two and a sneak, which is a body skill of three because I modeled you after a hobbit. So what I want <laughs> what I want your character to do then would be... Classic archetype. Right. Two plus three, five. So it's five D6 is what you're typing in to roll 20. And out of those five D6 that you get, there's going to be, I don't know, let's say one, two sixes. Who knows? But uh, if you beat whatever I say, how many sixes you need, that's how you win. If you fail, you have luck. And all of you but one person has luck. Sam. I gave Sam no luck. But. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> hold on. But on the flip side, he has the most stats and the most ability. Yeah, I was going to say, my stats look really fucking high. So he's got awesome stats, but he has incredibly bad luck. So if he fails, he can't re-roll. But everyone who has luck, you'll notice Dodger has four luck, and Sam has zero, but uh, Pocket has two, and Zeke has uh, three. You can use those luck to re-roll. If you don't have any luck, or you run out of luck, because you can only have that many through the course of this adventure we're going on, the other way you can re-roll is by pushing yourself. And when you push yourself, you open yourself up to conditions like being upset or scared or exhausted or injured and that will allow you to re-roll also that can be something that happens if you fail a roll eventually if you suffer being upset being scared being exhausted and being injured you become broken 
And at the holiday times, you don't want to just be a mopey mess. That's not what you want. And so that's all. And the only way you can get unbroken is if everyone gathers around and helps you get through that. So that is the way that that aspect works. Um, other than that, very, very simple. You all have uh, a drive, a reason why you're here, a problem that you have, and something you're very happy about. And then an iconic item I've given you all, but we'll get to that when we talk about your characters. So um, are there any questions? Do you want to jump in? Are you ready for the greatest <coughs> yeah, holiday adventure ever? Let's do it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the four of you have landed in Texas. And by landed, I mean pocket was someplace else at the time. Came back, landed. <laughs> and you all are in the back of an Uber XL, we'll say. That's how you're all in the back of this. And Christmas music is playing. The driver is sort of caught up in the moment. You're all in the back, sort of thumbing your, your fingers together and Sam is listening to his iPod and uh, whatever iPhone. Wait, what year is this? <laughs> you know what? It's, it's, I'm going to say this is 2003. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> okay, great. Cause for some reason I've given Zeke an iPod touch. So, um, you all are in the back of this car and the music is playing. You're caught up in the moment. You're very excited because you've been invited to a very, very special occasion at JP's house. He got a brand new house out in the middle of nowhere, Texas. And he has invited everyone to come and be a part of his new Christmas celebration. And the driver, as you start to leave the uh, city limits, is taking you out into a, like a pretty deserted desert road. And after a few minutes, turns around and is like, so, uh... Where are y'all from? <laughs> and he looks back at, at you guys and uh, turns to to Sam. And he's like, you look like a strapping fellow. Where are you from? Uh, England, actually. England? What are you doing here, man? Just uh, visit, visiting a friend. Like, uh, yeah. That's cool. What, is this like a party or something? It is Christmas Eve, y'all. Yeah, it's a part we're gonna. Have, yeah, it's gonna. We're gonna have a little Christmas party. Really? Oh well. Uh, it'd be helpful if y'all could. Uh, tell me where we're going, cause you just said like, head out to Highway 45, and here I am, and I don't. I don't even know. I uh, would like. Oh. <laughs> do you do you know where we're going, Dodger? Uh, I'm going to immediately check, uh, the, the, uh, Twitter DM conversation that ah. all of us have been in where JP definitely wrote down the address. So yeah, in the, in the DM, um, there's a huge conversation that's occurred and JP has invited you to his brand new house on Elmwood Lane. That's in the middle of nowhere. It is a huge mansion. He finally has enough role play money to afford a <laughs> giant mansion. God, but after all this time. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. And he's invited you out, but he's invited everyone. Everyone's going to be there. Um, I'm trying to think of like, Co's going to be there and Diction and Anne and Caitlin and like, I don't know, Waffle <laughs> and Max. Like everyone's, everyone's going to be there. Even sure. Jesse's going to be there. Everyone's going to be there. Uh, and so he's invited everyone. It's going to be the, the biggest party ever. It's going to be the best way to celebrate Christmas. You guys are very, very thrilled. And it, he's he, the address is listed there. And he is going to uh, see you all at 8 p.m. Okay. Okay. What time is it now? Yeah. What time is it? It is 6.45. You've got a ways to go. Well, okay. I say we, since I'm from Montana and we don't have uh, an In-N-Out burger. Do they have one? Do they have In-N-Out in Texas? <laughs> yeah, they do. I don't know, but I vote for In-N-Out because I never get to go there. I don't know about you guys. I mean, if we don't have time, that's fine. Hey, no, if you want to get In-N-Out. I'm always down to eat. 
Man, yeah. I didn't eat on the plane. Y'all is hungry? Okay. I mean, it's all good. There's a few burgers. That, I don't know about none in and out. We got like Hoots Burger and uh, What's a Dilly? That's like down the road. But um, we can stop. We can stop at one of these places if you want, y'all. Like, it's yeah. totally up to you, Zeke, because you're the one who's really hungry. Well, actually, um, did uh, did any of you guys bring like presents or liquor or something like for the party? Or were you supposed to? Because I've been told like you're supposed to go to a oh, party and bring stuff. I pull, out, I pull out a flask and I'm like, well, I brought I brought this, and then I I point to the back. And I'm like, and I brought some some more liquor in the back. Some of it's nice, some of it's a little cheaper, you know. I'm gonna of course keep you brought liquor. Up. Oh, I then, hold on. I, flash. I There's a flash every... moment. Oh. To pocket. Earlier <laughs> in the day. Okay. Before she left, buying lots of booze. And pocket, why have you decided to buy so much booze? What are you? What is? What is going on in your life right now that you thought this was the best solution to your holiday party cheer? I mean. We're getting together with a bunch of people, and I'm someone that is a really anxious person, and I like drinking when I'm around really crowded situations, especially, you know, people that maybe I don't know as well. I Although I think I know most of the people, at least moderately well, that JP would invite. Um, but if they're strangers, and I like to have fun, and drinking is fun, and I hate eggnog. I hate it. And I, I love eggnog when I was a kid, and I hate it now, too. So I'm, I'm with you on that. I put my hand up for a high five on the eggnog. Yeah, I hate okay. eggnog. None of us like eggnog. Who knew? So, <laughs> so are we teenagers? No, no, no. You're yourselves. You're playing oh, okay, yourself. Okay, okay, okay. So, we have a little flash of like what Pocket was doing beforehand, and sort of her character a little bit. Um, we have a flash of Zeke. What was your character doing before all this? How did you prepare? Um. <laughs> I think uh, I think I'm a, a little hungover because it's I, I went out last night and because uh, I, I arrived on the plane yesterday and I always arrive early to places like I always schedule the flight like the day before and early in the day before so I can like eat food from the local places and stuff like that. And I usually end up getting way too drunk before the day starts before the next day when you're actually supposed to do stuff. So. I'm a, I'm a little worse for wear, a little bleary eyed, uh, because I was in the hotel bar chatting up a guy from uh, from Delaware who's out here for some sort of siding. He does aluminum siding or something, and uh, we were talking and drinking, and I, you know, got a little too inebriated and uh, woke up and barely made it to the Uber. There we go. <laughs> we have a flash of Dodger. What were you yeah. doing before you arrived? Oh my gosh, I, I've spent the last like week <clears throat> leading up to this party just on my phone looking at Etsy, looking at Amazon, trying to figure out like what's a good gift that I can get one of each for everybody that'll be fun, but won't be like too expensive. And I've I've been showing ideas to Sam for days and he's so just like over it at this point. He's like, you don't need to bring something for everybody like it's a party it's not like you know it's not the same as like a family get together and i'm like no so i've been stressing out majorly but i finally got something that i'm really happy with and um my christmas uh, my holiday sweater came with this and i feel like this is also a big a big boon oof <laughs> so oof. Uh, I've got that in in my purse, ready to whip out at any time. And then we have a flash of Sam. What were you doing before we started all this? Uh, I uh, I was up too late, overslept. Uh, went to the went to the gym, and then just like threw some like shitty clothes in a duffel bag, and got and flew on a plane. I'm packing very light. Great. Great. <laughs> so, after we have these little, like, whoop, inside their head moments, we flash back, we're in the backseat of the car, and the guy, still looking at y'all, like, we getting these burgers or what, y'all? <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry, let's do it. Let's get some burgers. Yeah, whatever, whatever you think is, like, 
the best burger in Texas that won't take us too far away from our destination. Best burger. Well, we're man, we're getting close to the border of Texas at this rate, but I'll see what's around here. <laughs> where are you from? I just want to know where are you from? Me? You have the most delightful Me? accent. Connecticut. <laughs> so yeah, okay. it's a Connecticut accent. That's right. And All so right, he, I got to visit Connecticut. It's a beautiful state. Very small. We respect our independence. So he drives you off the interstate and you end up in a very, very small out of the way town. And there is one burger place called Jebediah's Burgers. <clears throat> and as you pull in, a waitress on roller skates rolls up to you and is like, hi, y'all. You want some burgers? Yeah, uh, just just uh, whatever. Like, if you have just burger, fries, Coke, maybe. Oh, a shake. we don't we don't have Coke out here. We have Old Jebediah's liquid refreshment. I'll have a big old mug of that. I bet you will, cutie. She winks at you. <laughs> what about the rest of y'all? What's the biggest uh, burger you have? Oh, we call that the Buford. You want one of them, sweet pea? Yeah, give me one of them. <laughs> All right, I'll give you one of them. What about you ladies? You want some meat? How big is like your biggest fry? Like like how like how big if I ask for a large fry, how big is that going to be? Oh, honey, this is Texas. There's plenty of big old fries here. Let me tell you. You Want a supersized fry? It is delicious. Okay, I'll get a supersized fry. <laughs> All right, I'll get you a supersized fry. <laughs> what about you, Red? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. You sure you don't want nothing? Nah, Put no. Put some meat on those bones. Nah, I heard they're gonna be tacos at this party. I'm I'm good. I'm good until oh, we. Oh, get... y'all going to a party? What are you doing out here? This is where the parties we're, happen. We're going to a party. Dear. You just, yeah, we just told you. Yeah, but like, <laughs> y'all see where you are? There's nothing out here. Where's the party? I go to a party if it's hopping. That's right. She says hopping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, that, that mansion out in the middle of nowhere. You know of it? And, no, baby. I don't know about a mansion. There's no mansions out here. That's great. Look around. Ain't nobody even in this town. There's like me. And Pablo and Jimmy and Johnny and little Bobby and big Bobby and Franco and Stevie Jr. and Mark and Tex and Tex 2 and Tex 2 Jr. And she keeps going. Okay. I noticed how she was was the only woman as well. (laughs) Weird. I start browsing Twitter on my phone. <laughs> yeah, the, like the second she's like, she's she's like, like going, I'm on my phone. <laughs> All right, well, I can see you kids is busy with your tweetsters. I'll be back with them foods. <laughs> she sort of skates off into the distance, back into the building, and you uh, see there's a a very plump chef behind the counter just going to work, doing something. And um, you notice she's right. This is a very small, empty town, and very dark. There aren't a lot of street lights. The, the only lights are the, is the golden J of Jebediah's burger. <laughs> <laughs> and then a few random house lights, but not much. There's not much going on in this town. And you realize very quickly, you are in the middle of nowhere. This is, it's weird. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, time Does anyone find it? Oh. No, no, please. Does anyone find it weird that there's a burger place in, in the middle of nowhere? Like, I'm more wondering why JP chose to move out here. I mean, maybe the internet's really good. I don't, I don't know, but like, are I, we sure he even lives out here? What do you mean? He, he said that this is where his new place is, right? Well, uh, he might have like typed that? it. I think he might have typed it wrong. I don't know. Well, dr- should... driver, is that is the address that that we gave you? Is that you know that place? You know where that where that is, I right? Mean... I've never been out here, fellas, but it's like, it's on my GPS. It's like right there, y'all. Okay. All right. Oh. I mean, it's a well, location. I I mean, it's an address. 
I work no, for Uber. You should trust me. No one really knows. I never lie to you. Why JP ever does the things he does? So, I uh, I I I stopped tweeting for a second. Um, I stopped subtweeting for a second, and uh, <laughs> I open up my my Google Google Maps and I type in the address. Uh, your Google Map pops up, and there is an address at this location, but for some reason there is no aerial satellite view of this location. I show you it can't to get six, street view. So I'm like, is this a little weird? Like, there's no view of it. Are we literally going to the middle of nowhere? What kind of party is this? Well, well I told I told y'all go in the middle of nowhere, but I'll drive you because you're paying me. My instinct is that JP went subterranean. <laughs> like he, he went he went off the grid. He lives underground. Yeah. No way. You don't think? No, he, like you, you've seen well, the other places he's now. had. He likes having a, he likes having a nice place that looks normal. Like I just, I don't know. I feel like, I don't, I don't know. I would be really surprised if we got there and it was just like an old witch house or if it was like a bunker. Like those, those seem too weird for JP to me. Wait I mean, a minute, hold on. Did someone say witch house? I pull out my iPod Touch with sick beats and I pull up a witch house track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which <laughs> you see to get the joke. Hey, um, I think we should roll for that because I don't know if you have <laughs> okay. a witch house mix. Okay, okay. Or or one that everyone here would appreciate. So, uh, if you would roll your tech plus okay. your um program, so six. Four plus seven, or four plus three is seven. So roll seventy six. Yes, seventy six. If you get okay. any one six, you win. Well, I got exactly one. You did it. Nice. You got one. You nailed it. All right. You have the sickest witch trance track that I'm is so just into like into it. It's it's fat beats, but also like cackles. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. yeah, it's crazy. It's terrible. Uh, Dodger loves it apparently. Sam, into it. indifferent. No. Um, I'm, I tuck a napkin into my shot and went for my, my burger. I nervous. So we get, it, <laughs> we get an outside shot of the car, and you can hear the <laughs> from the inside. The windows are rolled up, and we see the waitress skate back up, and she's carrying all this food, and she brings um, Sam his, his giant-ass burger, she brings Zeke his combo meal. Dodger gets her fries. But she also brings Pocket some onion rings. And she's like, hey, sweetie, just eat these. You'll be okay. <laughs> and she skates she skates back up to the counter and starts talking with the guy behind the counter. And the food is now in front of you. I uh, lean over to Pocket. Um, hey, can I, can I get that one of those flasks for me, please, real quick? Yeah. I, I I'm like yeah sure man here okay and I give you I give you, um yeah I give it to you there. So I take I take the 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 top off of my Jebediah's refreshment liquid or whatever it is and I pour some of it out and then I just grab the flask and pour some of <laughs> some of that shit, some of that shit in there. There we go. All right, <laughs> much better. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what do the rest of you do? I'm eating my. I'm going in on my fries. Hell yeah. yeah. I I bite the onion ring and it's too hot. I'm like motherfucker. Damn it. <laughs> One thing you do notice is while it is very hot, it might be the best damn onion ring you ever had. In fact, all of the food, very very good. Like discovering a hole in the wall Chinese restaurant and realizing it's the best Chinese food you ever had. Same thing here, but with burgers. Just next level. Just incredible. You are mind blown how good these burgers and fries are. You can't help but think, like, my God, do we luck out coming out here? This is so good. Yeah. And you, All right. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. I'm really hungry right now in real life, so. Oh, you, you <laughs> down that this. burger. It I'm is the most delicious burger you've ever had. And you think to yourself, I will, I will never have a burger this good. I want to order more. I'm so hungry. I want to order more. That's how you feel right now. Okay. I order more. 
No. What? No, we've got to no. go. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it to go. I'll just get like a bag and then no, I. Wait. It's going to take time to get here. We need to just get to the party. There's going to be. I mean, there. that food was here pretty quickly. By the time like Dodger's finished eating, like she's like a rabbit. Well, it will be here. What the? F it's not like we have to wait for any of us to finish eating to get going. Like, like the well, Mr. Mr. Driver. Or Yo, Mr. Driver, what's up? Um, are you? <laughs> I don't know why it's accent. What's up? <laughs> Yo, what what's up? up? What up? <laughs> Whatever. Sure. Are you are you hungry? Did you want to get something? Were you holding back for us? Uh, you notice in the front he's eating a uh, bologna and cheese sandwich. He's like, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, we can't be driving. Sam, there's, he, gonna, Sam, there's gonna be food at the house. Let's just go. You can eat food at the house. Fine, fine, whatever. Okay. Bunch of haters up in here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> We're not. I, I take a flask, another flask, and I hand it to to uh, Sam. <laughs> I just don't want us to be late. I'm with you. I'm with you, daughter. I'm totally with you. Can I, I just right. think it would be really rude if we were right, late when we go. had the let's option go. to get there right. on time. I'm just going to take one of your onion rings. Uh, uh, here, you want them? They're a little too greasy for me, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me some of those. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can All just. Right. There, that'll tide you over till tacos. Okay. I'm really looking forward to tacos. All right, let's go. Let's go. Whatever. Let's just do it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's roll. He turns the car uh, to start. The car backs up. And as he turns around to back away, Dodger, out the window, looking down the street in the town, you notice there's been someone staring at you the entire time, watching your car, and is just in the middle of the street. Because there's no street lights, it wasn't until your car's lights sort of like spun on him for a moment did you see him. Uh huh. But now you're facing the other direction and you're leaving the town. But there was definitely someone watching you. Uh, I turn to look out the back and see if he's still like standing in the middle of the road. You can't say anything. It is pitch black back there. The only reason why you noticed there was someone there is because the light shined on him for a little bit. Okay. That was so weird. There was like a dude in the middle of the road. <laughs> I guess I guess it's like the middle of nowhere and there are never cars out here, right? So why not just walk in the middle of the road? <laughs> that seems so dangerous to me. What What was he doing? He was just, just standing there. He was, I don't know. That was weird. Mm. I well. mean, to be fair, we're kind of in a, I mean, everything here seemed a little weird. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, the it's food just, is it's so just, good. It's quiet. It's fine. Dude, these fries Relax. are so good, though. So, <laughs> what did he look like? back on the road. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, Dodger? Yes. <clears throat> Will you roll your uh, mind and uh, your investigate to see if you can tell us what he looked like? So roll 4d6? Yeah, 4d6. I'll, I'll do 1. 1, 6 will do it. Nope. Nope, you just saw an outline of a guy. You don't necessarily know what he looks like. I honestly, like, I was so surprised that there was a person there. I do not remember what he looked like. <laughs> It might, uh, been, it might have been a beautiful lady. I don't even know. There was just a person standing in the middle of the road, and it was weird to me. <laughs> okay. Are you? Oh, uh, yo, driver. Wait. How long? How long is it to the house? Uh, man, we got. We're almost there, y'all. It, it's just. I moved here from Connecticut. I don't really know this area, so I'm just following the GPS, and it says we're gonna be there soon. Uh, I lean over to strip and. And I say, uh, um, did, did anyone pay for that food? I didn't. No. I didn't either. Oh my God, you're right. Huh? I'm so sorry. We have to go back. We have, I'm so sorry. Do, I know do we though? But like, do we? I, but do we? I don't know. But do we? We're already we like five minutes the away. Food. We're already like we five have... minutes away. I mean, I can turn around y'all. We... We got it. We no, got I'll, a place I'll to go, go still. Tomorrow. I'll go back tomorrow. I'll go back tomorrow. Sure? It's okay. Yeah, I'll sure? go back tomorrow and I'll gonna, make sure that we pay. It's gonna bug you up. for. Uh, look, I don't. Are you not gonna pay me? No, guys, we're good. That's automated, isn't it? <laughs> look, I, I just moved. Like I said, I just moved to Connecticut. I don't know none of this Texas stuff. This Ubers and Dubers. I don't know. I, I, I'm a simple country boy. I don't know, ma'am. All right, let's, let's just you know what. Let's just no, turn we'll... around and pay. Let's just go. Okay. Get okay. over with. 
I'm sorry, guys. I just I I right, gonna feel so right. bad if we don't pay these people. So they, <laughs> you all turn around as this guy <laughs> turns the car back around, and you head back down the highway and get off at another ramp, and you're back in this very small town. I all the lights are off food. now. It has been maybe 20 minutes, but all the lights are off. There is. It's closed. No. There is no one working at this restaurant. All the lights are off. Oh, man. Although it's possible you just don't see someone inside. Maybe they're in there, but they've closed down for the night. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll hop out. I'll hop out of the, the Uber XL. I'll hop out and, like, peer in. Sure. Um, when you look inside, you notice it's very, very dark. And it doesn't appear... That you can see, like there's been anyone in there, and it appears like maybe they've gone home for the night. You just don't know. Okay, I'll climb back in the car. I, everybody, it looks like everybody's gone home. That's so weird. That happened so fast. We must have gotten there like right when they were closing. All right, we'll just mm. come back tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. It's fine. Okay. So oh, you jump back in the car, and the Uber driver now is a little peeved that he's being like. Look, I'll tip, to go you, I'll tip you an extra 20, to go. all right? Relax. Sir, you know Uber drivers can't accept cash tips. That's not how this works. We have a signed contract. Yes, you can. Nobody all right, to... I'll accept a cash tip. Don't worry. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> all, right all right. Cool, cool. No, all yeah, right. I was going to say, like, there's right. nothing, the there's nothing uh, wrong with you finding a 20 in the seat cushion. That's why, that's why I like you, British folk. You all funny. <laughs> he starts he starts he starts driving you back down the highway and you start to notice that the sky above you you can actually see the stars not just twinkles it's like a vivid starscape you are clearly so far away from man-made light that it just it's beautiful the nighttime is beautiful you notice constellations and things you've never seen before uh it's it's mesmerizing but it also is very very dark outside and you realize you are very very far away from civilization i take a uh let's take out my phone and i take a little picture of the of the sky and then i put some shitty carl sagan quote uh on it and then <laughs> post it on twitter i, I noticed that you you it does not send you have no internet uh, cell phone connection you're you're you have zero bars. Oh my god, we might as well be dead. <laughs> Yo, Z, hurry up and post this shit. You don't want to retweet. Yeah. Um, guys, I'm on uh AT and T, and I don't have any signal. What about you guys? Uh, we're oh. Verizon. We don't have any. You have no signal either. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm T-Mobile. You. It says you have a signal, but you have no signal. <laughs> Seems about right. Uh, scoop, 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 scoop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll just post it at the party, right? Just use the Wi-Fi. Yeah. JP will have Wi-Fi. Yo, are we nearly there yet? Uh. Well. Uh, yeah, man. According to this, we're like crazy. We're almost there. It should be. Yeah. You keep saying almost there, but like there must be like a time. Yeah. On, uh... well, come on. Don't be like. Well, Me? don't be ha I, don't be hassling him. I'm just saying it's probably a time, right? Give me an ETA. Oh, well, it says like five minutes. We should almost be there. It, it's just oh, great. I've been having so much fun driving with y'all. I've been going a little slow. I'm not gonna lie. You, you're kind of fun to be around. Aw. Uh, hey, that's cool. I appreciate that. But fucking hurry up, the real time. Honey. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I gave you my onion rings. Calm down. Yeah. I'm not saying he's, it to just, you. he's just hangry, y'all. I know what that's like. I get that way myself. Yeah, I don't you, get my bologna and cheese. You know me. You know me. Yeah. <laughs> so he turns to the right, and you end up on a dirt road. And it's very bumpy, and you're going past crops of okra and just things. You're like, I didn't know that was a crop that was <laughs> around here. And you end up coming over a hill, and in the distance you see... A beautiful, giant mansion, but it appears to be very, very new. Something uh, built within the last two or three years, but it's okay. gorgeous. It's huge. Um, there, it, it. Think of it like every 
modern McMansion you've ever seen where it it bleeds opulence, but it, it looks like it was fabricated in about 24 hours, right? It's huge, gorgeous, but kind of like, like, I don't want to say new money, but that idea of just like, we built it really quick because we got money to blow. Hey. Like too clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And All the, the edges are sharp. Yeah. It, oh, something is very modern art about it, but not in a good way. Not in like a, like, oh, that's interesting to look at in a that's tacky as hell way. Just, oh, this is this is definitely JP's place. This is definitely JP's house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Undeniably. I, li- I like it. Maybe it must be new because it's not on the map yet. Uh, did you say if there were any lights on or like music or people gathered? There are definitely lights on. There are a lot of Christmas lights. There are blow up doll like blow up dolls. There's there's Santas and stuff, not actual blow up dolls. There's Santa like <laughs> blow up Santas. Oh, the and, extra ones, yeah. Uh, rain, yeah, the Christmas decoration ones everywhere. But you also notice in between those are giant um, hedge bush creatures. Like a like a like a falcon and a lion made out of out of like bush carvings. Bush, I'm trying to think of what those are called. You know, bush carvings. Um, but like hedge creatures. And there are beautiful flowers planted everywhere. And it looks like this property stretches on for quite a ways. And all of it is manicured and looking gorgeous. But in between the gorgeous is tacky, tacky Christmas stuff just That's everywhere. Good. Yeah. Okay. And he, the driver drives you up to the front, and as he pulls up to the giant door, even you can hear it through the car windows, music is blasting. It is great Christmas music. It is classics. None of that, like, new stuff. I'm talking classy classics, like Christmas and Hollis, and... uh. You know, uh, uh, whatever yeah, that Mariah Carey song is. You know, the classics. The classics. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is you. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it. So he stops, turns around. is like, well, y'all, it has been incredible. I thank you so much for letting me drop you out here. I can't believe this place. The night y'all about to have. Man, I'm excited for you. Did you want to? Uh, did you want to come in? No, I already accepted a, another ride about 60 miles back, so I probably should go pick them up. Oh. <laughs> well, I, uh, here, here you go. I mean, ha! Huh? Oops, I left. I accidentally left that, and it's actually forty dollars because I feel so bad. Um, you are so, you are so kind. If someone had done that, that would have been wonderful of them. Oh my gosh! But man, it sure wasn't me. Good night, wonderful driver. So long. Thanks, y'all. And uh, you step out of the car. And the driver pulls away and drives off into the night. And you're standing before JP's giant manor, uh, Casa de McDaniel. Casa, <laughs> Casa de Roleplay. Role That's, role That's way better. That's why you're the DM. It's way better. <laughs> um, and so you're standing before this amazing mansion, and you hear music inside. What do you do? I go inside. Uh, well, I knock. Yeah. No, I knock. I don't knock. I have, I open the door. I knock the and door then Sam is, just the door is the locked. Chest. The door is locked. You can't. You can't just walk in. Okay, I'll knock and ring the doorbell if there's a doorbell. The doorbell plays a very interesting tune. It's like boop, bap, boop, I, boop, beep, I never hear boop, all of the tune boop, because I'm ringing it over and over and over again and restarting the song each time. Boop, 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 <laughs> yeah. You guys laugh, but she does this. <laughs> That's what I do in real life. Every time. <laughs> she keeps ringing the doorbell. Oh, no. I, yeah, no, I got to hear that uh, Thursday whenever you were ding, ding, ding. It's like, stop. It's so loud. <laughs> and the door opens, and before you is Mr. Adam Cobell. Oh, dressed, Adam! Dressed in a, in a black Christmas sweater Amazing. that says, I... F Santa. <laughs> it has stick figure banging Santa Claus. Okay. And and he he grabs 
Dodger who goes, ah, Adam, and gives her a hug. He's like, hey, guys, come on in. We have a cool party. It's amazing. Adam. Everyone else is here. Adam, check out my sweater. Check it that out. That is such a good sweater. Oh, my God. I can't believe you guys. You're so dumb. <laughs> and uh, he sort of waves you in. And uh, uh, as you enter this big, amazing mansion, you notice there it is like the stairwell to the Titanic in this thing. That huge grand staircase going up to a second floor. There is a giant open area where one would expect a grand ball would be held, but there's no one there. Meantime, you hear a noise coming from your left that sounds like a bunch of people gathered together celebrating something. And um, Adam looks around and is like, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Over there is the kitchen. Uh, there's a bunch of people in there trying to get dinner ready. Over there is the game room. Everyone's in there, obviously. And uh, back there, that leads to the conservatory. I don't know what a conservatory is, but JP got one. And uh, there's two bathrooms down here, two upstairs. All the bedrooms are upstairs. You guys can pick one out later. Don't worry about it. And uh, there's some more rooms. There's a parlor. A parlor? Crazy. And he just starts listing off rooms to you guys trying to point out where you can go and what you can do is, um is there something wrong adam you're being really helpful right now <laughs> i'm just trying to get this out of the way so i can go back to playing parcheesi it's one of my favorite games oh, okay yeah um <clears throat> i want to i the second that i hear that people are working on food and stuff i'm like ah. Oh, I gotta go help, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in the kitchen and see if I can help with anything. Okay, where the rest of you go? I go to help with the food too because I'm hungry. <laughs> so okay. I don't go for the same reason, but I go. <laughs> sure, of course, gonna, of course. I'm gonna course. go. I'm gonna go say hi to games room people. <laughs> Great. Do the rounds. Yeah. Greet Zip, everybody. Where do you go? Uh, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go to the where everybody the biggest uh, gathering of people is. <laughs> so, the two of you. Head off to the uh, gathering, this big room. Everyone is there. Everyone you know is there. Everyone you love is there. One area, there's Mom? three or four people playing um, huh? Mario Kart. Dad? <laughs> not, your, not your family. The streamers you know and love. Okay. okay. Unless your family has started to stream, Sam, in which case, they're there suddenly. Um, <laughs> IRL, is, it came out in 2003. So... Everyone's there. They're, one group is playing Mario Kart. One group is playing the Game of Thrones board game, and they apparently have been there for hours doing this, and they're still setting up. One group <laughs> is doing a like really fun sort of Dungeons and Dragons looking style board game with dice and little figures, and it looks very very cool. And there's a group of people over by a bar just drinking heavily, and. Um, yeah, it seems very merry, very jolly. There's Christmas decorations everywhere, and uh, everything seems to be to be just like a normal party. Uh, well, I see the people there, and do are they all like wearing like like Christmas sweaters and all that kind of stuff? Everyone's in a Christmas sweater. Everyone okay. looks ridiculous, and there's at least two people who are walking around going like, "Can I, can I like vlog this? Can I, can I roll stream this?" And everyone's <laughs> like, "No." Don't no. do that. Yeah. Uh, so I, I actually, before I recognize anybody or say hi, I kind of survey the situation and I, I duck out uh, to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, Sam, what do you do? I'm just mingling. You know. Is there anyone you talk to? Little one arm hugs with everybody. Um, I, I see Cody. He's like stripping. Like he does. That I'm was like, good, he dude. Is, I'm like, he is hey, very, what's up, dude? Very drunk. Oh my god, I. You want a drink? I'm like, yeah, but have you seen JP? I just want to say hi first. Uh, no, I haven't seen JP in a while. Um, I have no idea where he's at. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna do the rounds, and then uh, what are you drinking? Uh, Zima. They made this stuff again. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be back with the Zima. All right. My man. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. And I all right, all right. Just start saying hi to people. Little wave here and there, look, looking for JP. 
Sure. Um, meanwhile, Pocket, you and Dodger are headed to the kitchen. Yeah. I'm and- working with like two paper bags, like re- like double papered bags uh, that have just a bunch of liquor, and you can hear them kind of like like clanging against each other a little bit every now and then. Sure. And um, <laughs> with you it is um, Adam is behind you and he's following you in. And you hear from another room a very familiar voice, that lovable goof, Jesse Cox, uh, <laughs> saying, oh, my God, hey, are new people here? And Adam's like, yeah, Dodger and Pocket are here. I'm like, oh, hey, Pocket, can you come in here a minute? Where I look around, like, where did that come from? I, that oh, come- Jesse's I- just like in the other room. I, honestly, I wouldn't go. He's going to do the same thing he's done to everyone. Don't do it. What? What is he done? Is it a goof? Oh, that would that would explain his extremely pleasant tone. <laughs> Guys, I'm so alone over here. If anyone wants to come help me with something, uh, I I set I I go again. I go up to the wall and I set down the the bags of alcohol and I walk into the room. <laughs> yeah. When uh, so meanwhile, <laughs> as you leave, um, Adam picks up the bags of alcohol and carries them into the kitchen. And uh, Dodger, when you enter the kitchen, you see uh, Aurelian. Freaking out, just freaking. Um, something is wrong with the roast that has been made. The sous vide went excellent, but of the course. finishing touches are just—it's—it's it's not turning out the way she planned. It's insane. Christmas dinner is ruined. She hasn't had any time to work on the sides because the main dish is not the way she wanted it to be, and you immediately notice that like this might be the time to help and right. do what you wanted to do yeah when i first walk in i go in for the hug but i realize like oh no this is oh, this is not time. the time it's she's furious she's like i don't even know where jp is like Are, uh can i what what can i help with just I, like just delegate just delegate to me what i don't I even with? no i don't <laughs> what do i even do what do i even do right now um, okay, so there's the roast. You focus on the roast, and I'll focus on sides. Does that help? Yeah, okay, I guess. I guess. Unless you want, unless you want me no, to focus no, on no, the roast no, no, so no, that no, the no. roast is, like, my fault. <laughs> I love you. I lo- Thank you so much. And she gives, like, a I big hug. Too. And then she goes to focus on the roast. And you notice before you are potatoes. And, like, something that looks like it could be stuffing eventually and um, all just all sorts of, of vegetables and uh, like something that could be macaroni if put together properly. Just a, a lot of possibilities, but it's clearly up to you what you create at this point. Okay. So what do you get started with? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something fast with the potatoes. So I'm just gonna <laughs> boil them so we can make mashed potatoes. Because if okay. if there's everything for mac and cheese, then that means that there's like dairy products. So I'm gonna do mashed potatoes. What's going on with you, Sam? You're not even in the kitchen. It's fucking Christmas <laughs> dinner. You don't do mashed potatoes for Christmas dinner. You roast them. Are you kidding me? Right now. Uh, then you should have come in the fucking kitchen, Sam. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm coming to get a drink. And if I see you doing mashed potatoes, yo. They're already boiling. Although the best way to have a good roast potatoes is to boil them first and then have the edges be super crumbly. So, look, you could still save this, but they're boiling now. So, <laughs> you have ten minutes. So yeah, um, I'm boiling the potatoes and uh, the stuffing. That's easy. I'm chopping up the rest of the celery that still needs to be chopped up. Uh, all all of the like bread pieces were like pretty much done so i'm just like mixing everything together and making sure the oven's at the right temperature um mac and cheese mac and cheese for for christmas is that a thing i don't know I I, i'm just loud. saying it oh, is uh now. yeah uh, i really was like well jp was gonna just have us all drink soylent but i figured we should have food so oh i haven't i have there's only I so many actually haven't tried any of the christmas soylents are they oh, good the eggnog soylent you would love it uh. mm. I'll try it later. I'll, I'm just All gonna right. like sip it. I'm sure one of these yahoos is gonna like drink one, so I'll just take a sip later. Okay. All right. Uh, 
So you you start to get to work on the food, yeah? Yeah. All right, we'll definitely roll to see the outcome of the food you've decided to make. Uh, meanwhile, Pocket. Hi. You have entered the next room, and the minute you turn the corner, you see Jesse in a ridiculous pink holiday sweater, <laughs> looking like an idiot, but standing under mistletoe. And he's like, oh! Pocket, <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you serious? <laughs> what do you mean, am I serious? I, I was looking for some help with this mistletoe. How oh, many people think, has it worked on? <laughs> you know, a surprising number, most of them men. Wink. <clears throat> I walk up and give you a hug. <laughs> Jesse looks at you and is like... <laughs> Oof. Okay, well, now it's awkward. <laughs> and uh, yeah. turns around and is like, all right, so help me take this stupid thing down then. <laughs> Wait, it's hanging? I thought you were holding it. No, it was, it's hanging. I went through a lot of work to make this goof, and you just, like, pooped on me. So but you didn't have to stand here the whole time. I've like, been standing here the whole time. You're absolutely right, Pocket. You're absolutely hanging? right. You should have made something and had it just hanging always in front of you, like a hat. No, it it ruins the goof. And people walk in, they just, it, you don't even know, Pocket. You don't even know. I've just been <laughs> trying to make a joke the entire damn time. And you come in here and you poo-poo my joke. That's fine. That's fine. Jesse's not pleased at the moment. Listen, I'm sorry. It's a it's a funny joke, and apparently a lot of people a lot of people at work done. Yeah, <laughs> Is it that's, a joke that's if it fine. Done? No, it's it's fine. And Jesse just goes and <laughs> pulls down the uh, mistletoe and just walks off. I take a sip from my fireball flask. There's a fireball <laughs> in that flask? Yeah. That is... <laughs> and then you see Zeke come out of the bathroom someone say mistletoe? Who wants a kiss? <laughs> and what the? that fuck? is where we will take our first break. <laughs> what are you wearing? <sighs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Oh, we're gonna break now. Okay, we're definitely breaking right now. Okay.